Alrighty, let's watch this here. Dun, 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 dun. my face over there dun, dun. cool I like what he's doing there dun, dun, dun. this might be too much of a back and forth but now I'm wondering if you're a bit too strong with the shoulder left right I think it's a shock killer just throwing it out there if you personally felt it was too much I would not disagree but again it doesn't it doesn't kill the shock this is extremely picky, but your hat is very straight to the horizon line, uh, to the horizon line, to the edge there of the frame. I would just give it a slight slant, just for diagonal, so it's not so flat and even. I don't know, picky picky. But why not? Asymmetry in everything. But I do like what's going on there. Da -da -da. You might even start opening the mouth a little bit here, so it's not always that perfectly closed mouth here, and especially through here. I mean, you can do, you can open it through here a bit, mm -hmm. and then hmm, close for that, or open a little bit, and then as you do this, open even more because the head goes up, and that brings up the brings the the jaw into an opening position. Totally up to you, but that's the only thing. It feels a bit always kind of nicely closed there against some contrast. Rest is cool. I like your change with the arms again let's bring my face somewhere else here that's cool cool hand poses <laughs> actually i like that hey hey my hat my hat great with that little exit there that's great i like it she comes in Ooh, i like that too yeah absolutely probably blew my mic here it's cool. I like that. I like the change in the arms. This doesn't feel like a 2D card anymore. I think that's all very cool. She turns. Still feel like this is a very, very sharp stop there. And I know you got a continuing move in the arm. A couple of things. I don't know. To me, body wise, subjectively, I feel like we're a bit sharp. You might stop sooner around here and then feather into that wire rotation a bit more in the overall body and then you know, that arm is a bit even in timing there that whole and I will probably keep it further here for a, uh, a silhouette it's a bit more like that now you might say well but then I can't go up and go higher I don't think you can you're just always in here and then as she lands um you can even go a bit well not go that much higher but well it might be too picky see i don't know i'm always kind of looking at how can we make things clearer like this hand for instance right the color shape we kind of lose the hand but if you have that a bit lower so on this imagine that elbow is just a bit lower so that when this happens the hand is actually here so you have a color silhouette i don't know that's that's just kind of my thoughts because this reads clear so to me this would be that a lower thing and then coming out that thumb is right there forming of a tangent and that's why i would again push for arm for the out for a nicer silhouette which then ends up being a bit more here for a nicer silhouette but then the argument is that well but then there's nowhere to go because i like what you're doing i like that she goes up there but maybe what you can do is since you're already here go up a bit more but then she starts to potentially bend it maybe you know that where she just gonna give it some foreshortening where she starts to bend towards us that arm and still have the idea of the arm going up and we see the bends um but still coming out of a pose like that i don't know that's what i would say subjectively it's fairly fast. I think if there's anything that I would do is the timing. It just feels very even in timing. Is the rest a shock killer? I still personally would tweak this. This is probably less of a note just because you have nice contrast of out in with color silhouette out again. So that's not huge. But at the same time, you are also paying me for my thoughts. And you can then take these thoughts and do whatever you want to do with them. So I just want to mention what I'm seeing here. 
I think hat movement or the hat arm is better. There's something sharp here though on the landing. It's a bit wobbly and sharp through there. I think that up and then that move over. Watch this hat again. Something a bit odd there. The landing was good, right? Let's see the legs here. Cool. Maybe a bit stuck through there. That to that. I would probably go this. I like how it goes down and then up to here. I would now at this point be, well, not that straight, but somewhere around here with that foot maybe further out. Just goes out a bit and then come back down. And then personally, something weird about this foot here. Going suddenly, right at the very end, it goes to the left and the front foot goes to the right. Watch this and goes click. It's a bit of a, I can see more here. Bit of a clap there, a little fast move. Personally, I would keep that up front so then that this toe is here and then move this a bit further back so that toe would be here. Imagine you have something more like that. So it's not, they're not so parallel. So there's a slight offset. But you can still do that. It might even help so it's not this massively huge step back. Cool, turn is cool. Let me see. Yeah, not too shabby. I still feel like the end is a bit floaty off, meaning like she floats off very softly. So it's either going to be push off with this leg into imagine this was over there she would go out i can't even draw i lose my other tool here out like that like as an idea right like that's what what she would do even if she's off screen or you turn and then these the wings get so strong that you still feel more of a pull imagine that chest gets pulled up by those wings and then have maybe a little bit less of this. Maybe it's, it might be a bit more curved this way with the hips coming up because the chest is being pulled up. But I feel like you want to feel either the wings are going and that pulls the chest up or a bit of a jump. Right now it just feels like it's just so, just kind of floating away. Now it's at the edge, at the end. Is that a shock killer? No. But again, something that I would explore. It's interesting dynamics of the wings doing something. I think that head turn is a bit fast. Shoop, right there. Just that turn. And I know you're following notes where she looks longer and then turns, but I would probably, and you want to avoid that the chest and head move are moving as one. I would just then delay or slow down the chest by two, three frames and add those two, three frames to the head as well. Just watch the head turn. Shoop, a bit fast. Shoop. Also mainly because after that turn, then it feels like it's locking. That gives it that extra, that extra speed there, speed lock. Rest is cool though, impact and the look is cute. Oh, the arm's great. The only thing I would say, just because I'm always a fan of engaging all axes, is when she comes down here, right? Imagine that head is always the same orientation like that. Boom, and then watch out, that's a bit sharp. How you go, back into this Push up again bit sharp on that impact but through all of this even through all of this she's always like that as opposed to maybe she's floating and it has a slight land with a slight tilt and that and then as she goes back there might be a slight tilt for the head like that and then tilt over the other way to get around so I'm trying to find a bit more uh, left and right rotations there tilting over so it's not always that straight one axis through all of that. It'll be kind of cute, a little bit of a head tilt to do that and then straighten up into that. That's it, it's picky, 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 but we're also very, very close to the end, so we're gonna get some more picky notes. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.